Hello and welcome to another RoboDeep Sala video. This video here is all about selecting the right size timber for the joist for your deck and also the spacing as well. There's a few little hidden traps in there and this video here is to help you get things right. This video is also a continuation from the previous video I did on selecting bearers for your deck. This video is one of many on the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. I'm Paul and this YouTube channel here is all about helping you. Helping you navigate the difficult New Zealand building code regulations. I will let you know about little known clauses and design considerations that can prevent you from making mistakes and getting it right first time. But the greatest gift I can give you is the Robo Deck Designer online tool. This online tool will help you design your deck to New Zealand building code regulations within minutes. So the first thing before choosing your joy size and spacing is to choose your bearer size. Now I've done a separate video on this one, I've got the link in the description below. So if you have a look at this you can actually work out your bearer size and also from the bearer size you'll be able to work out your joy span as you will know the, the distance between the bearers. At this stage you'll need to work out your joy spacing. Clause 7 Point four point three gives some limitations on your joist spacing and this is all based off the thickness of your decking used for your deck. Once you have this information together it's time to look at your joist size and please be aware that if you're using handrails for your deck this does actually affect your joist size. There's a clause 7.4.13 which specifies that if you have a handrail system that your joy size needs to be at least 190 by 45 millimeters. Also, as with the bearers, there are also three different grades as well, SG6, SG8, and SG10. In NZS 3604, under section 7.4, there's a little line there which indicates which table to follow and which grade to use, which is actually table 7.1B, and the grade is actually SG8. If you're using cantilever joists for your deck, there's a separate table, table 7.2, and on the right hand column of this table here, has some sizes for the joists for your deck. So, with all this information together, you're now able to work out your joist size. On the Robo Deck Designer online tool, the joist size is 200 by 50 for the medium height decks, and 100 by 50 for the low decks and also the pagola decks. Also with the joists, blocking is required in certain areas of the deck as well. So there's a clause 7.1.2.4 which outlines about blocking and how to actually achieve this but in reality it's just far easier just to use offcuts of your joists and use these as blocking. So bracing is actually used in a few different areas on a deck. So the first area is actually used in is along the bracing lines and this is outlined in NZS 3604 under clause 7.1.22 and the blocking there is actually at 1.8 metre spacings. The second area is at the outmost ends of the deck. The third area is actually along the wall of the house. If it's in the corner the arrangement's a little bit different, um, some against the corner but normally be midway and this is a length of 1.8 metres of blocking just in one line. Bit span blocking is also required as well. Now this is if your height to width ratio is 4 or more. Now joists which are 200 by 50 and 195 by 45 actually fall into this category. So a midway blocking and it can be alternated so you can actually get nails on each side as well. This is under clause 7.1.2.3. Also blocking is required for handrails around the supports. Now in NZS 3604 there's three different figures there actually showing the arrangement. The first one being 7.10a, the second 7.10b and the third one 71 Zero C. So depending on your arrangement, um, have a look at those diagrams there and you'll see just how the blocking is arranged around the handrail supports. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.